I'm Alan Little. I'm the honorary librarian uh, of the museum, the Lawn Tennis Museum. That's who I am. 1946 is my first memory. It was a um, Saturday, the last Saturday of the championships. And in those days, the um, championships only lasted 12 days. And the um, finals were the reverse way round. So that on the Friday afternoon, they had the men's championship. Then on the Saturday, they had the, the other four championships. That's the way they used to do it. 12 o'clock, we went in. I remember going round the sort of channels to get to the centre court, paid my five shillings, and I ended up on the west side. And we all waited for two o'clock. I do remember it so well. And I was right at the back. And I was very short in those days. And someone said, you ought to go up the front. So I said, well, I don't know whether I can do that. So I said, yes, and this woman, I think it was, she said, make way for this young man. He can't see anything. And within about 10 minutes, I really ended right at the front, leaning on the barrier. I couldn't believe it. And all of a sudden, out they came, and there was the two players. There was uh, Pauline Betts and Louise Bruff, and they started knocking up, and I thought to myself, I've never, ever seen ladies placed to such a high standard because the war had been on and these were Americans who had lots of time to practice and they were absolutely superb. I was absolutely gobsmacked, if that's the right word, at the level of their play. The only point was that um, when I did come in 46, on behind me on the left, which would be the northwest corner, the roof, you could see through some of the roof because they'd had the bomb during the war and this had, was all roped off. I think there was about a thousand seats not occupied, but um, and they weren't repaired. The, the centre court wasn't repaired, I think, to about 1949. And the reason was because in those days you had to have licence to get building materials, and sports clubs and fields were at the bottom of the priority list. So it laid like that for about three or four years. I think it was 49 before they could repair it. But I mean, generally, I think it looks the same now up until you get to the roof thing. You know, it's obviously gone back further on each side. But the roll box, everything's in the same position, roughly. The court's the same size. I think that's it.